my amazing art friends. For this lesson, we are gonna be creating a cute little bear wearing a sweater. And we are going to be inspired by the artist, Indy Maverick. Indy Maverick is a graphic designer from Mexico and she creates these awesome paintings, but she also does things for brands and magazines and other kinds of work like that as well. So we are going to be specifically looking at her series of artwork called Fancy Animals, where she draws lots of different animals wearing sweaters. And so in her artwork, Indie Maverick uses a lot of textures. Texture is the way something looks or feels. And so because we can't actually feel the texture of the fur for our animal on our paper, we're gonna have to draw what that looks like. So it's called implied texture. So we're going to show our implied texture using different lines. We also are going to be using the principle of design proportion. So proportion means that things need to be the right size. So if I draw my bear's head one size, I need to make sure that the ears and the eyes and the nose and the mouth and everything else match that size. I can't have a big head and tiny ears. So you have to be using proportions when we're drawing as well. All right, friends, let's go ahead and learn all about our artist and get started. This is Indy Maverick. She is a Mexican illustrator and graphic designer. She creates work for brands and books and magazines, but she also creates work for herself. We're gonna be looking at her fancy animal series. She's inspired by nature and animals and floral textures, and she uses a lot of textures and patterns in her artwork. You can see that she creates the texture of the animal's fur by creating these small little lines and then gives them a fun sweater full of different kinds of patterns. So now that we've learned all about our artist, Indie Maverick, let's go ahead and get started to draw a little bear wearing a sweater just like her fancy animal series. So we're going to need a paper, pencil, and sharpie. And when we are drawing today, we're going to be sketching because we are going to do some erasing. So make sure you're pressing lightly with your pencil. So we want to make our bear fill the whole entire paper. So we're going to start by drawing their head. So I'm just going to create kind of like a an oval almost, but then I'm gonna cut it off at the bottom. So now I have my bear's head and making sure I'm using correct proportions, drawing some semicircles for the ears, trying to make sure that they are the same size, that's not the same size, right? And I'm also even going to put a little smaller circle inside. So now I have my head and my ears. I'm going to head, I'm going to make my sweater. So I'm going to just make two curved lines that come down for the body and the sweater. Now I'm gonna make two eyes. And I'm going to draw the bear's snout. So I'm going to create kind of like, um, I don't know what I think, like, a, like an avocado shape. There we go. So I'm gonna almost draw like an avocado. And then inside the avocado, at the bottom, I'll make my little triangle snout, triangle nose, and mouth. Okay, so now I have my bear, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the textures for my bear and I can even give him some little reflections in his eyes if I wanted. So I'm going to trace the only the outline. That's it right now. So I'm going to trace the ear or the head, then the ear, then the head, then the body, then the ear, head, body. Okay, and I am going to trace the eyes. And the nose. And mouth. And I can even give him some little dots around here. Oh, and also, the line for his sweater, okay? Everything else I'm not gonna touch. 
So now we're going to do using our black marker is we're going to create the implied texture of our bear's fur. We're going to do that by adding some short strokes and I'm going to start around my bear's snout. So right on the line, I'm going to just add some little short lines following the shape of the snout, that avocado shape, okay? And then you're going to repeat it outwards. But I, so I traced around the snout. I'll do the same thing around the inside of the ear. And then also around his eyes. And then you're going to just keep repeating over and over and over again until you get out to the edge. Okay, so when you're done, your bear should look something a little bit like this, and you're going to go and erase the pencil lines. And so when you're all done erasing everything, it should look a little something like this. So we'll, next week, we will go ahead and add patterns and do all that stuff. Today, we are just focusing on drawing our bear, making sure it has the right proportions, and creating the implied texture with the fur by adding short little crisscross, uh, short little strokes with lines. Make sure you save your bear to use for next time, and then we will continue our wonderful project. Happy creating.